Jesus feeds 5,000 people Jesus wanted to have some quiet time with his disciples, so together they took a boat to an isolated place. However, many people saw them leaving, the news quickly spread between villages and an enormous crowd of 5,000 gathered ahead of them, they wanted to see Jesus and hear him preach. As Jesus came ashore he saw the large crowd. So, taking pity on them, he taught them many things because they were like sheep without a shepherd. As evening approached, the people grew hungry. Jesus said to Philip, Where can we buy enough food for them to eat? Philip replied, Two hundred days wages worth of food would not be enough for each of them to have a little. Jesus then told his disciples to bring to him whatever food was available. It amounted to five barley loaves and two small fish carried by one small boy. Taking the food, Jesus looked to heaven, gave thanks and returned it to his disciples to serve to the people. The five thousand ate until they were satisfied and, after they had finished, twelve large wicker baskets of scraps were collected. When the crowd realized that the copious amount of food they had just eaten was the miraculous work of Jesus, they wanted to make him a king and carry him away, but Jesus dismissed the crowd and went to another place, alone. Matthew 14 13-21, Mark 6 32-44, Luke 9 10b17, John 6 1-15, Finding private time to reflect, pray and help others, as well as doing our daily work, can sometimes seem impossible. Often the temptation is to cancel some of our daily chores, such as, postponing the needs of others to another day or omitting our need to talk to God. Remember, Jesus put the needs of others and praying to God as Father, first. Lord Jesus, King of heaven and earth, you fed five thousand with five small loaves and two fish. Accept my small prayer offerings and, in your mercy, great things will be miraculously accomplished. Lord Jesus I give you my hands to do your work I give you my feet to go your way I give you my eyes to see as you do I give you my tongue to speak your words I give you my mind that you may think and may give you my spirit that you may pray in me above all I give you my heart that you may love in me, your Father and all mankind. I give you my whole self that you may grow in me, so that it is you, Lord Jesus, who live and work and pray in me.